you're speaking on uh, dark development and translation, uh, just can you tell us the key messages of the lecture? The key messages is that there's a real unmet need for being able to identify disease early, as well as I look at whether treatments are working early. And DARP, which stands for Detection of Apoptosing Retinal Cells, is a tool that we've developed to try and address those unmet needs. So basically, uh, we have shown to date in patients that we can pick up a signal which may be indicative of the fact that they have disease and that they are at risk of developing fast progression of that disease. But also from our preclinical experimental work, we've shown it's a tool for judging whether or not drugs are working very quickly. Mm. Brilliant, thank you. So can you tell us more about um, the current stages you're at with the research at the moment? Sure, so we've completed phase two trials. We're in the midst of trying to get further funding so that we can go on to phase three where we'll be looking as a diagnostic in glaucoma and, and maybe AMD. At the same time, in parallel with that, just to get this money, uh, we're looking at using DARC as a biomarker to test drugs. And that is, again, in glaucoma and AMD, but also in diseases such as optic neuritis, uh, Parkinson's, and maybe even Alzheimer's, uh, where there is a, a real demand to have non-invasive methods by which you can check whether your drugs are efficacious or not. Yeah. So, um, how do you feel Stuart Duke Elder's legacy is reflected in modern ophthalmology? Well, he's a very hard act to follow. It was really quite amazing reading his CV and doing the research. I think he was the first to highlight the fact that knowing the science and the basic science allow you to develop things. And the whole of the um, systems of ophthalmology and his publications, including his PhD actually, were based on using basic science to answer clinical questions. So it's very relevant to modern day ophthalmology because all of us uh, are trying to do translatable research. And by that I mean it's very easy saying bench to bedside, but actually it's, it's also bench to bedside and back again because what you learn sometimes when you go into the patient is new things which may require you to, to, to go back to, to the bench, to, to chest and, and work out uh, how you are going to move forward. So I do think he provided us with that infrastructure, if you can call it that, in, in looking at new ideas and getting it to the patient. And finally, what do you feel should be the biggest priorities in ophthalmology today? I think my idea is that it should be saving vision loss. And I think ultimately we should stop sight loss in the first place. So in other words, patients should never get to the stage where they've lost any vision if we can identify it early enough. So a, a big thing here would be, for example, um, when you talk about glaucoma, we know that the earliest stages of disease at the moment we find very difficult to identify. But if we were able to do it early, we could treat early and they would never lose vision in the first place. Brilliant. I think that's everything. That's perfect. Thank you so Great. much.